Hey Pretty Girl Club, I wanted to make a quick video about how not to romanticize relationships because that can tend to ruin your life a lot of the times because we have to be realistic about these men. They're not as romantic as they used to be probably back in the day. And for those girlies who grew up in the 90s, we tended to romanticize relationships because of our Disney movies and they would they would portray this man who's a prince and he's going to look for his princess or and they live happily ever after like I remember being one of those girlies that romanticized it for relationships and was looking for Mr. Right and Mr. Perfect and you know been dating and I'm in my early 30s and I could just say I've never met that guy that had it all all of the check marks on my list I've never met that guy and I've met a lot of people it's just not real and the sooner we wake up to that the easier it'll be on us and decentering men is helping too decentering men just means not putting men in not making a man your whole life searching for a man looking for a man a relationship you have other things going on in your life men can come like fourth or fifth as far as priorities go it's not something you you know you prioritize because you just kind of have to let it happen when it happens you if you date if you're dating and stuff date you know just have fun dating um if you're in a relationship now that's healthy that's cool if you're married that's cool you know but even in these relationships we can get lost in the man's dreams and wants and his goals so decentering them it just helps you focus more putting yourself back first because we can tend to forget about our own dreams and what we want to do and how we want to wear our hair and if we want to wear makeup because of what the man is thinking. It's all about what the man wants, the male gaze. But if you put all that aside and do what you want to do for you, you'll notice you'll be a lot more happier. We do things a lot of the times to please a man and sometimes they don't even make us that happy. I see people who done got bbls regretting getting bbls i'm like why'd you get it in the first place because of the male gaze i'm sure the black male gaze specifically but you know it's some things just are doing too much and you just gotta put yourself first you really do if a man really likes you he'll prove it he'll show him he'll show it he'll treat you out he'll buy you things whatever like whatever his love language is you'll kind of peep it you can kind of tell when somebody likes you versus when somebody just wants to sleep well you have to have discernment if you don't if you don't know yet i'm at the age where i could kind of figure it out real quick like are they only texting me or calling me when they want me to come over or you know just have to peep certain things does he not does he text you good morning if, if he doesn't if he just wants to see you just so y'all can mess around or whatever been there and done that and you know those are the type of men that you just gotta just stay on the date you know not take seriously but for real though um it's easy to get lost in a man's dreams and wants and needs and goals because you want to please him I grew up a Christian, so it was kind of like our, um, a, one, a man finds a wife finds a good thing, and a submissive wife, you know, all of that stuff. I was completely with in all of that, but I noticed you get lost in that easy. You lose yourself. I noticed I was losing myself when I would do that. I was married before to a Muslim man. And I used to remember having to dress different because I was with him. Just so many things changed in my life because of the person that I was with, the man. But even in the relationship I'm in now, decentering him. And this channel was helping me do that. I'm having other things to do, other forms of validation. You know, I go to work. Um, when I'm not working, I'm working on videos. So 
I'm definitely I have a good routine with decentering him because before I was not decentering him, I would I wasn't as happy and I'm just gonna be honest about that because I would dress how he wanted me to dress. I would work on his videos and not my own videos and you know, we would just be looking at his vision board and you know, whole time I'm trying to figure out who I am and all of this stuff. I'm still dealing with insecurities and body dysmorphia. So you kind of lose yourself when you're in that mindset. So, you know, going through therapy and ex listening to exotical content and making my own channel and venting about things and just healing myself really is helping me a lot. Because I remember when I was young and I was a pick me and all of that. And I was looking for my husband or whatever, waiting for my husband. You know, but I would do things to put myself in position. Like, I was very male-centered at one point in my life. I'm not going to lie about that. But I was younger and just looking for love in all the wrong places because I didn't get it at home for real because my mom didn't give me any so my dad was always gone because he was in the marines so i really you know i didn't have that affectionate side growing up and i think when you grow up with in a low self-esteem mindset it's easy to, and you're attractive because when you're attractive and you have low self-esteem you're still attractive, you just don't know it yet. But other people know it and they're going to either target you, so men will still talk to me and everything, but I will get used a lot. I will get played a lot. You know, I was a, a doormat, basically. You know, I was a people pleaser. On top of that, being nice, on top of that, doesn't really help. So people see me as an easy target, a pretty girl who doesn't know her worth. Ooh, the narcissists are coming. The male narcissists are coming. So I've dealt with that for a lot, a couple of years of my life, just men using me and whatnot. Because when you don't know who you are, it's easy to get lost in somebody else's visions, dreams. Um, and they will use you to your advantage if you are valuable in certain areas. They just will use you. That's just what people do. So you have to learn how to find the value in yourself and stop romanticizing these relationships. You don't, It's okay if you don't have a man, if you don't have a man right now. Focus on working on bettering yourself. Not having a man means if you have your own place, you get to decorate it however you want to. Probably you get to decorate your car how you want to. You probably don't have no pee on the seat and <laughs> all of this stuff. So think about the positives when it comes to what you feel like you don't have. Because your man will come when he, when God's ready for him to come. Um, but don't rush to get married. Don't rush to have kids. If you are a single young woman, please live your single life to the fullest. You know, date if you want to date you know when you're single you get to see different types of personalities every day when you're dating when you're in a relationship you say you're dealing with the same personality all the time you get tired of them <laughs> so you got to think about the positives of being single if you're single and if you're in a relationship you know if you're in a healthy relationship more power to you but if you're in an unhealthy relationship and you're trying to figure out, figure it out, um, just decentering men's definitely going to help you not even worry about what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily not worrying about your relationship, but it's not taking all of the energy out of you because you got other things to focus on and you'll find your smile there. If it's not in the relationship, if you're in one of those relationships that you just can't get out of yet, because a lot of us are in one of those type of relationships, unfortunately, <laughs> where you want to get out, but you just can't yet because of zip, you know, ties, what have you. So decentering them, 
in an unhealthy relationship is your best bet until you can figure it out so if you haven't started a youtube channel that's probably like the best way i can suggest for so many reasons it's therapeutic you're meeting people you're getting validation through other people whether you're showing your face not showing your face people are still you still have a following of people who support you you're helping people on top of that that goes into my people pleasing i get to help people and you know so it covers multiple aspects of things as far as focus so you can focus on this you can you know you have to open your editing room which you want to talk about next taking notes if you want to start a playlist you gotta organize all of these things you're focusing on something if you know instead of coming home after work and just watching tv or watching exotical content you can start making your own start making money that's a like hello youtube is paying people to talk about whatever they want to talk about within regulations of course but you guys know what i'm saying like there's so many positives for having a youtube channel i can't even think of a negative side unless you're just not the type of person who can handle criticism and critiques and stuff like that if you're shy or what have you because even me i started my channel but i'm still a little shy about going live so you know once i overcome that just like i overcame starting my channel i'll be fine it's all it's all anxiety for real anyway so i'm gonna eventually start a live <laughs> but yeah don't ever romanticize relationships it's okay you will meet the guy when the time is right or the girl if you're bisexual whatever it is you know just don't rush it have fun with your life decenter men so you don't have to think about it all the time like i'm not married yet don't worry about that don't let your mothers push you into i don't need more grandkids and i need you know don't let people pressure you into these things if you're single go travel don't travel alone don't travel alone but travel travel with the girl group or whatever you don't have any ties you know what i'm saying if i was still single with no y'all i would go traveling all the time so just count your blessings where you're at in life you're here for a reason and you will get to where you need to go when god you know when god allows for that man to arrive but don't rush it and that's kind of really what i want to say don't romanticize relationships because men will be men and you kind of just have to pick the best out of what you can pick because I have yet to find a guy who can check all the boxes. So, and I don't even have a whole list of standards that are too crazy. I just want a guy who's responsible, mature, who's a faithful, committed, who likes to have fun and goof around and laugh and not take things so seriously who's not aggressive i don't even have a phenotype as long as he's black i'll even date outside of my race and i'll probably i don't know if i could date white people again i've never dated an asian person i don't know if i would do that either i know i'm more attracted to black men and mixed race men yeah that's really all i don't really have a tight type like as long as you're attractive and masculine i'm cool you know and you're cool we vibe you know but yeah that's all we wanted to say like comment subscribe let me know if you have any questions and i will see you guys next time thank you for listening